Good morning. Welcome to the CBS AM debrief uh, this Friday, the 7th of uh, January 2011. I'm, uh, I'm David Coon. Uh, in overnight market action, the US uh, closed slightly down, you know, particularly uh, the Dow there with a, a 0.22 uh, reduction. Uh, this is largely on the back of uh, disappointment in the retail and uh, telecommunications sector uh, with uh, Verizon Communications being tipped to uh, experience more competition in, a, in the sector and uh, it was down around 3% uh, during, the, uh, during the session. Um, NASDAQ curiously was, uh, was actually the only standout there which tends to be fairly uh, uh, telco heavy. Um, it was up uh, 0.28 and uh, uh, the uh, S&P 500 down uh, 0.21. So, not uh, sort of major moves, and uh, certainly we uh, are always of the view that uh, when we're going into non-farm payrolls uh, numbers, uh, not a lot tends to, to happen, uh, because everyone's uh, focused on that. Over in uh, in Europe, uh, the FTSE was down 0.4%, uh, the CAC the CAC was even, and the DAX was up 0.6%, so a little bit of a big session there. Uh, Madrid was up uh, 1.01. Uh, and Milan down uh, up uh, 0.42. In our region, <coughs> uh, the futures are suggesting the Nikkei 225 will be up 20 points, so the Hang Seng up 52, and our SPY 200 at 4,703, down 9. Let's take a look at the uh, commodities. Uh, crude took uh, Took a bit of a, a, a beating uh, last night, down a bit over two percent, nearly two dollars to so eighty-eight. Um, natural gas down um, one point six one. Uh, the rest of the softs sectors sector rather was uh, was, was really uh, by much down uh, with uh, frozen con concentrated orange juice. Uh, really, the only <coughs> the only exception there up to 2.72. Um, corn and cotton both down uh, around 2 and 3 quarter percent. Uh, sugar really off uh, down 6.09 percent. And uh, oats down uh, nearly 3. And to our metals, uh, copper down nearly 2 percent to $4.32 and uh, 0.35 of a cent per pound. A gold down a little bit uh, to thirteen hundred and seventy two dollars and silver down back below thirty dollars at twenty nine dollars twelve and a half. Currency pairs, uh, Euro is buying one point three zero one six US dollars. Uh, we did see a fairly good move up generally with the US dollar um, so we can see that in the cross rates here. Uh, the pound buying one point five four seven four US dollars and US dollar buying 83.31 and a half uh, Japanese yen and the Aussie buying 99.44 US dollars, US dollar buying 99.64 Canadian and the US dollar buying 96.51 Swiss francs. I'll have a look at the uh, economic calendar before moving on to the uh, Falcon Trader. We can uh, find out where that is. There we go. Okay, so not really looking at terribly much uh, high significance data here. A uh, fair bit of stuff out of the Eurozone, a little bit of Canadian uh, unemployment uh, numbers out in our early evening. Um, the only thing that's coming through is um, Canadian uh, unemployment. So um, previous figure was 20,000. So the expected figure is 20,000, the previous was 15, so a little bit of an uptick there. And then the number that uh, all eyes will be focused on, which is the US non-farm payrolls, and they're expecting about 140,000 there, and the previous was 39. So that would be quite encouraging, continue to support the view that the US economy is slowly recovering. The uh, unemployment rate, uh, and also an important figure to <clears throat> suggest that, uh, that uh, the uh, 
the growth there is, is, is really starting to uh, dig into the uh, unemployment problem. Um, so that number is forecast to be 9.7, previous 9.8. Okay, so take a look now at the Falcon. Just looking here at the Dow Jones, and uh, this is some studies I put up earlier, where we looked at the um, the AB movement from here to here, and then Fibonacci retracement down to the three eight two, and then our extension to the one point six one eight, which it came up to really uh, touched it spot on, and then uh, retraced here and now seems to be continuing on. So whether or not we should be uh, thinking about 1,250 or 12,600 just at this uh, level uh, might be a little bit uh, a little bit premature, but um, certainly to my eye it's looking pretty good. It has broken high, taken out that old high there, and um, staying in the trend here if we drew a trend line up here. Take a quick look at that uh, US dollar index just to see where that's looking now. Okay, we can see that leg up last night. We're back up here to test this uh, 81, 81 and a half level. And uh, we can see from our, with our Fibonacci level from the ABC movement that the 1.618 extension is around 82 cents. So it's not that far away. So um, it might be interesting to see what happens if it gets up, uh, up towards that level. A quick follow-up on <clears throat> a couple of uh, trades here. Things get consolidated. Really hasn't done what uh, what we wanted here. Got in at the, uh, at the low tens and uh, had a chance to exit up there uh, at a reasonable level, but uh, still still holding on there, perhaps a little foolishly. Okay, just um, something that's obviously in the headlines at the moment is the. Uh, situation with coal. Um, we've got uh, the floods in Queensland that shut down a heck of a lot of capacity there. And uh, this, this seems to be focusing everyone's attention in this area. And a uh, little South African play that I've talked about in the past called Continental Coal has, uh, has just done a little bit of a breakout yesterday here. So. 78 cents, uh, sorry, 7.8 cents to my eye was the level to uh, break above. And uh, we've now done that the next level of resistance. Looks to be around the, uh, the 8.2 cent level, uh, sorry, the, uh, the 8.7 cent level. But um, could be one to um, look at uh, acquiring on uh, any sort of pullback to uh, 7.8 or thereabouts. And uh, so if we can't get some of the, uh, the upside there, they are forecasting a uh, nearly a doubling of export sales production, so 120,000 tonnes for the March quarter of 2011, uh, having achieved uh, 56,000 tonnes uh, last quarter. So um, a reasonably positive story there, and uh, <clears throat> I guess uh, yeah, one to watch. Okay, well, uh, that about wraps up the uh, program here. Thanks, of course, uh, for your attention, and uh, have a great weekend. And uh, we'll speak uh, speak again soon. Filling in for Jonathan full time this week and next week. Uh, he's off uh, skiing in Japan. So, um, yep, see you on Monday. Bye now.